those last, I guess, like the 12 minutes of the second half, what was it? What was the difference? Um, we just you know, hit some shots and um, started getting some stops. You know, we mixed up defenses to keep them on guard and stuff like that. And we got back into the um, in the game when we started hitting shots. And Ron, being a freshman coming in, you saw all the talent on this team. And I don't know what your expectations were for the team, but uh, I would guess they were higher than, than what y'all accomplished. I mean, yeah, we, um, we, everybody know we had a lot of talent and stuff like that. But, you know, um, it's, it was the little things. You know, it wasn't, you know, things you saw on the court. It was a little thing off the court, stuff like that. And, um, you know, you just got to go back and fix it. And, uh, you know, it, it can't happen next year. What kind, kind of things, things yeah, off the court? Hmm? What kind of things off the court? I mean, just, just being disciplined, you know, stuff like that. You know, I'm not going to go into specifics, nothing like that, but, you know, just being disciplined all the way um, in the classroom everywhere. Brian said that he thought, you know, the disappointment from not making the tournament carried over into the game in the first half. Do you think that was the case? No, nah, they, they just punched us in the mouth first, and we had to fall, you know, call back in it. And, you know, by the time we called back in it, you know, they had another gear. And, um, you know, I think that was it. I think, you know, when the game came, um, we was ready to play. Martin has said he'll think about what he's going to do in the next few weeks, and I think he mentioned at one point he's going to come back and you know, play with you. But what does that mean to you? And also, do you try and sell to him to come back another year? I mean, it means a lot, you know, um, for him to be, you know, more like a, lot, a lottery pick, you know, for him to come at this, um, speaks a lot about me, and you know, who wouldn't want him back? But uh, we'll see what happens. You know, I'm behind him, whatever he's doing. Talk to Sidney right. about his future. No, I have. Rodney, when there's a couple of guys on the team that just aren't doing what they're supposed to do, and you see that, and you're a freshman, was it hard for you to speak up and kind of, you know, kind of take control of that kind of situation? Was that was that not your role this year? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, I saw some stuff that you know, I could have spoke up on, but you know, I'm a freshman. And, um, we had leaders, you know, but um, you know, I, I think next year we got a good group of guys coming in, you know, good character guys. So you know, next year we're gonna give a good, honest effort, you know, every single game and practice, condition, everything. You see yourself taking on that leadership role as a sophomore. Um, most definitely. You know, I think um, I was kind of a leader this year as far as working hard every single day and um, going to class and doing the right right things. But, um, you, know, um, you know, next year um, we're going to be ready. You use the word character. Was that one of the issues this year? It was It was a piece. You know, um, it, start, it didn't start when no, in November started. You know, it started you know, during the summer and stuff like that. And, um, we just got to go back and um, correct it.